Okay, thank you, Baca de Cabeza. Um, I am your host, as always, Mark W., and I have next to me Mr. Rob Bob. Say hello, Rob Bob. Hello. And Bob. today we're going to play some, well, we're going to continue our game of NetHack, as always, because that's been awesome. But um, before we do that, we're going to spend the first half playing some Pixel Dungeon. Now, Pixel Dungeon is a, um, it's a roguelike, of course. Again, we are obsessed with rogu roguelikes lately. And this game is, um, well, it is, let's go to, actually, let's go to the, uh, the rogue family tree as soon as I resize this. I just want to adjust this a little bit. So yeah, it is actually it. inspired by the roguelike called Brogue, as the cow mentioned a minute ago. Every roguelike is, in, is inspired by Rogue, technically. Yeah. Not Brogue, but... Well, ultimately, Rogue is like yeah. their great, great granddaddy. But for now, I wanted to show the family tree again. And here we are. Just to look at my browser for a moment. And, um, yeah, basically, if you, this is the whole, this isn't every roguelike game. This is just some of them. But someone mapped out which games inspired which. Some are actually descended from others in the sense that it's a fork, meaning they took the source code, which most of these games are open source. Yeah. And they said, I'm going to make a variation of this. So down here we have Pixel Dungeon, and the, the version of Pixel Dungeon we're going to play is actually called Shattered Pixel Dungeon, and that comes from Brogue. It's heavily inspired by Brogue, but not a direct fork, if I understand correctly. And Brogue traces its roots back to just regular Rogue. Many of these games are like several down the line, especially this... I don't know what's with these ones. It's a 3059, 3069. <laughs> what is that? I don't know what that is. Made by a guy named F Fruit. But, yeah, we're going to play some Pixel Dungeon Shattered today. Or tonight. And let's get right into that now. So I had this on my smartphone, my iPhone, for the longest time. You um, can get it, get Pixel Dungeon on your phone. It's like, was it $1 or $2? Uh, I think I paid about 5 uh, $5. So it's a lot, a lot of money there. But, um, it is, uh, you know, you can get the Java jar, which is, a jar is just a package, and, and it's, uh, free. However, that version is very old, I'm told. So they kind of try to pressure you to buy the, the version on Steam, which is also $5. Uh, so I decided to go with Shattered, which is, again, a fork of the regular Pixel Dungeon, and it's highly recommended. It's, usually considered to be an improvement on the original Pixel Dungeon. Uh, I played the original quite a lot on my phone, but it's been a few years, and this one, this edition, ch uh, Shattered, changes a whole bunch of stuff. So, let's see what holds, what that holds in store for us. Enter the dungeon. So we don't have every character unlocked, I guess? You Correct. Did you unmute, by the way? Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, I muted. <laughs> okay, just it. check. Uh, yeah, so... In Pixel Dungeon, usually you can choose between uh, like a, a warrior, mage, rogue, and uh, huntress. So it looks like those characters are the same in Shattered, but we can only start with the warrior, so let's pick the warrior. And this kind of graphic here is way out of place. What I mean by that is it's kind of not the style that I'm used to seeing. Yeah. It's like realistic, wow. So info, innate power. The warrior starts with a unique or broken seal, which he can affix to armor. He will slowly generate shielding over his health while he's wearing armor with the seal affixed. Uh, so it is broken. broken. Alright. Seal can be moved between armor, carrying a single upgrade with it. Okay, so, alright. So it sounds like you want to save it for something you're sure you want to upgrade for a while, but you can move it around. It's just that you only carry one upgrade with it rather than a whole stack of them. Okay. The warrior automatically identifies scrolls of identify, that's good, potions of healing, and scrolls of rage. So scrolls of identify are good because you need you them can to identify, identify things, things. Yeah. which is very useful. So that's helpful off the bat that you, that you know what identify looks like. Are there cursed things in this game? I'm pretty sure there are. Yes, there, are. there should yeah. be. The warrior starts with a worn short sword, which offers more direct damage than other starter weapons. The warrior starts with three throwing stones, which offer limited ranged damage. Um, the warrior starts with a potion bandolier, which can store various potions and protect them from the cold. 
talents. Talents are unlocked as the hero levels up. Okay. Hearty meal. Mm, we can eat well. So it's a good skill to be able to eat well. Okay, so... It's a good skill to be able to eat in general. <laughs> yeah, these are the tier 1 talents. We have a uh, hearty meal. Eating at below 50% heals, health heals the warrior for 3 hit points. I guess that's the level 1 plus 1. And plus 2 is eating at below 50% health heals the warrior for 5 hit points. Arms Master Intuition identifies weapons and armor faster. And for the level 2, the warrior identifies weapons and armor when he equips them. Okay, so all you have to do is equip them and you know what they are. Alright, that's good. But I guess if they're cursed, then you're uh, a little bit out of luck. Whenever he identifies a potion by using it, the warrior heals for 4 hit points. That's for the first level, and for the second level, it's the same, but for 6 hit points. Mm -hmm. Lastly, there's Iron Will. Increases the warrior's... Uh, let's just read it all. The max shield provides by, provided by the warrior's seal is increased by 1, or the max shield provided by the warrior's seal is increased by 2. Those are the talents. And lastly, we have subclasses. A subclass can be chosen after defeating the second boss. Yeah, this is in um, the original Pixel Dungeon as well. Uh, you, you get to just choose an upgrade. You can subclass to a Berserker or a Gladiator. Okay. Gladiators get combos. Berserkers can go into a rage mode or something and okay. do extra damage. All right. Uh, is so anyone I, here? Is anyone watching? Uh, it says we have one viewer, but right. it's always an estimate. Uh, yeah, if you want to say hi, guys, we will say hi back at you. Don't know who that one person is, but... Could be nobody. <laughs> Warrior, many heroes have ventured into the dungeon before you from the city above. Some have returned with treasures and magical artifacts. Most have never been heard from again. None, however, have ventured to the bottom and retrieved the amulet of Yendor. That is the generic quest item, the final goal for roguelike games. It's kind of almost like a running joke at this point. Oh, you gotta get the amulet of Yendor. Yeah. Which is said to be guarded by an ancient evil in the depths. Even now, dark energy radiates from below, making its way up into the city. You consider yourself ready for the challenge. Most importantly, you feel that fortune smiles upon you. It's time to start your own adventure. Descending. Okay, so we have music. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I guess I should have. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let me just turn that down a little bit. That should be good. We don't want it to drown out our voices. Hopefully that's good. Let us know. If anybody's watching, let us know how the levels are. If the audio levels need to be adjusted, please give us feedback. All right, so here we are. <coughs> uh, let me switch back to the game. The dungeon lies right beneath the city. Its upper levels actually constitute the city's sewer system. As dark energy has crept up from below, the usually harmless sewer creatures have become more and more dangerous. The city sends guard patrols down here to try and maintain safety for those above, but they're slowly failing. This place is dangerous, but at least the evil magic at work here is weak. Okay. Okay. Oops, uh, no. Do we need a numpad? Notepad? Uh, no, probably no, not. No, a numpad. A numpad, oh yeah. Actually, it doesn't need to work. So, um, I guess I'll just click around. Okay. Which is okay. It's kind of designed for that. Okay, we picked up a torn guidebook page. Okay, oh, by the way, we, these are the stones we can throw, I guess. We also have... What is this? Okay, that's the cloth armor. It has the warrior's broken seal attached to it. This armor blocks zero to two damage and requires ten strength to properly use it. Okay. And we have the worn short sword. The tier one melee weapon deals one to ten damage and requires ten strength to use properly. We have one food ration, some biscuits, and we have three throwing stones. Tier one thrown weapon deals two to five damage. It's more accurate against distant enemies, huh? Hmm. Okay. Thrown weapons will wear out and break as they are used. This stack of weapons has five out of five uses, I guess five uses left before one breaks. Okay. Okay, what is this? Oh, is that is a trap. That a trap? Jeez, I walked right into that literally. Mm. Alright, what's my health? Looking? Okay, I took quite a beating there. Okay, but now we know what a trap looks like. That was not in the original pixel touch. <laughs> Alright, what is this, by the way? 
to search. You want to search. Press again to search. Press the tile to examine. Okay. And this is. Oh, I think I just waited. Okay. Are you? Yep. There is a little snaky guy. Can I look at him like this? A sewer snake. These oversized serpents are capable of quickly slith slithering around blows, blows, making them quite hard to hit. Magical attacks or surprise attacks are capable of catching them off guard. However, you can perform a surprise attack by attacking while out of the snake's vision. One way is to let a snake chase you through a doorway and then strike it just as it moves through the door. Okay. okay. We can do that. Use a chest. It woke up. So let's, um, I don't know how fast it is, so I don't know what to expect here. But we can just step here for now and wait a little bit. And now we kill it. Okay, that was easy. It took, uh, it killed. It took four damage to die instantly, is what I'm trying to say. We have a scroll of identify. Cool. That's good. We don't have anything to identify, but... Yeah. I feel like I can get something from the, that, like, grass or whatever that is. Yeah, you can get these dewdrop thingies, at least in the original. Alright, there's a rat. Not usually a problem, these rats. Marsupial rats are aggressive, but rather weak denizens of the sewers. They have a nasty bite, but are only life-threatening in large numbers. Okay. Okay, so I know this is a trap. Can I just do a look? Why am I seeing them all the time? Maybe I only see them sometimes if I get lucky. Should we test throwing something? Uh, sure. So that worked, it was probably a waste, but it worked. Good work. <clears throat> you want to clear out the grass? Yeah. So you can get health back, I think. Yeah, we got the dewdrop thingy. Uh, yeah, that heals you. But alternatively, you can... I mean, it's been a while. You can, If you get some kind of jar or something, you can put them in there. And then if you get 10 drops in the jar, um, it'll save you when you're about to die. You'll automatically drink it. Oh, there's the jar. Oh, that sounds... Duvile. Here's some potions. All right, this is good. That sounds very good. There is a stone of affection. Okay, we got to check out some of this stuff. Um, what is the stone of affection? When this stone is thrown on or next to an enemy, they will be temporarily charmed. Will attempt to target your allies instead of you. But you can have allies in this. Huh? <laughs> My wife was just showing what the stone of affection looks like, the ring on her finger. Alright, so um, we could identify a potion. That's probably a good use for the yeah, scroll. Probably. Oh no, it's 20, not 10. What? Oh, 20. Okay, it does save your life. So oh, right. here's a potion bandolier. So it stores. It's like more slots for the potions. Okay, okay cool. Why don't we identify one of them? Yeah, sure. Alright, we identify... Doesn't matter which one. Uh, we have a potion of haste. Okay, good to know. Okay. Whoa, that is a lot of uh, enemies. Yes. So we've alerted three of them, the other two are still asleep. By the way, in this game in general, you can surprise enemies when they walk through... If you hit them right when they walk through a door, it, um, it, you get a better shot at them, apparently. If I recall correctly. Uh, yeah. That's what it said. But, it, well, it said with the snake. Well, I wonder if it only applies to certain monsters, because it mentioned it that just, for the snake. It might just say that for the first time you... Next time you find a snake, try doing it again, and maybe it's just the first time you mm. do that to an enemy. Maybe. Let's see what this flashing thing is up here. Adventurer's Guide. Identifying items. Identifying items can be just as important as finding them. The colors on potions and glyphs on scrolls are different in each dungeon, so you won't know what effect you'll get if they're unidentified. Unidentified equipment can be upgraded if you're lucky, or it might be cursed. Accidentally equipping a cursed item is bad, but usually isn't instant doom. Scrolls of identify, upgrade, or remove curse are very useful if you want to reduce the risk of unidentified items. You can find a list of all the items you've identified in the t items tab of your journal. Okay. okay. Should we chug random potions? We can always try that. 
It's always a valid strategy. By the way, we uh, gained a level, I think. Got a talent point. Um, do I have to apply the talent point? That's something I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. <coughs> How do we get to the talents? Uh, I already went there. It's not going to be here. What is this? Stairs. Equipment. This is equipment that I've identified probably. Alright, I don't know how to get to the talents. Maybe over here? Ah, here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you upgrade that stuff. Um, I got a plus one. Does that mean I can get one of these? I'm not sure. Uh, I think so. This is upgrade talent. We can identify stuff faster. We could, uh, get healed as we eat. We could, um... We get healed every time we identify a potion by drinking it. Well, I am considering doing that, so <laughs> maybe that's a good idea. And this is improves your warrior's sealed bonus. Alright, um, they're all good things. Yeah, they're all good. I think in the original Pixel Dungeon, warriors always had this hearty meal kind of ability. Okay. I don't know. What do you think, Rob Bob? I don't know. Uh, let's do a hearty meal, maybe? I'm kind of leaning towards this, but I could do a hearty meal too. I don't know. We could do that. I don't know which ones are good. Oh. Oof. So much background noise. Yeah. Alright, let's upgrade this one. Okay, now we can um, identify a potion by using it and get four hit points. So maybe next time we're actually injured, I will chug one of our unidentified potions. Yeah, that might be, actually might be a good idea to not identify them. Sometimes. Alright, so we can actually zoom out if I recall. Didn't I already do that? Okay, so plus and minus, so we can actually do that. That's nice. And we can see we have not explored up here. Alright, so we can click up there and you should just go over there. Oh yeah, this, uh, so you have to burn through those if I recall. So how do you do that? You throw like a potion of fire or something? And in the original pixel dungeon, they always gave you what you need. So it was like, if there was one of those barriers that you had to light on fire, they gave you the potion of fire, I believe? So that means that one of these is probably... Yeah. And again, I haven't played in a few years, but that's ringing a bell. All right. Um, but how do I play this? It's like, I, <laughs> if I just throw all three, I'm going to waste two good potions, potentially. Well, we don't really have any other option. I could just go down the stairs. Down, oh, down the stairs. Let's so this, um, this oh, is some there. kind of bonus area. I don't recall what you get. Well, I mean, you don't want to accidentally drink the fire potion. <laughs> I guess. What if I drank one and then <laughs> I don't know, that's a good strategy. Should I just throw any one, any of them at random? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna throw one at random. Throw crimson because red is fire. Red is fire, okay. I don't I think I, ideally you're actually two spaces away because it's gonna be a fire. Yeah. But you can step into the water and put out the fire that's on you. Okay. Alright, here we go. We're gonna throw the red potion. Blindly throwing potions. I don't like this, but here we go. Oh, that was it. Good was, call. So we are burning. But we can step right here. Okay. And now we're no, no longer on fire. It was good that you didn't drink that. Yeah. Okay, so now we can wait a little bit for the fire to burn. Okay, so now I got some food. Mm -hmm. And this stone of intuition. So we'll check that out in a second. The stone of come smart. A food ration and gold. Is anyone watching? <laughs> yeah. Stone of Intuition. The rune stone holds a weaker version of the magic found in scrolls of identification. Rather than directly identifying an item, it will work on your intuition, allowing you to identify, to attempt to identify a potion or a scroll by guessing. I don't know what that means. Should we so try it? Maybe you say, oh, is it this? And then they'll say yes or no. Maybe. Let's give it a shot. I guess it's a one-time use. No idea. What? I don't know what any of these are, so... Okay, so it's kind of like what you said, but it's giving the symbol for all of them that I have unidentified so far, I guess. And if I guess correctly, it will tell me, yes, it's that. Otherwise, okay. otherwise, no dice, I guess. All right, um, <clears throat> I guess this first one is like level up or something. I don't know, let's try that, I guess. Sure. Oh, that is, okay, it's Potion of Strength. So I'll say, is, uh, it, is it Potion of Strength? Is it? 
Your guess was incorrect. So it's not voting. So if we were going to be really studious, we could take note. However, the journal might actually record that for me. Let's see. Where is that? Uh, oops. Hold on. No, can't click those. <coughs> but perhaps it's here. Okay, it does not tell me that. If I wanted to get crazy, I, I could write down a note that... I don't think it's really going to matter. the brown one? The brown one is not I think strength. it was brown or black or whatever. Here, I'll write a little note. You're going to know can see this right now. Brown potion equals not strength. <laughs> if it's worth that knowledge, I don't know. But, but I took note of it anyway. Maybe if for some reason you need a strength potion, All right. you can know to not drink that. Yeah, true. Okay, let's go to the stairs down. Go the quickest route. Yeah, if you click it, it takes you the quickest route, which is good because you do have to watch your hunger in this game. You can hear enemies moving in the darkness. Okay. Do vial for our potion for our vial. Uh, two drop for a vial. Got a couple of those. We got a torn guidebook page. So, okay. so now I have examining and searching. Charging forward reckless recklessly is a great way to get killed. There's always time to slow down and examine things around you, which can help you figure out the best way to approach a situation. Rushing into enemies is almost never the best way to deal with them. Dungeons are full of secret passages and traps which appear invisible at first glance. It's good to be willing to thoroughly search an area if you suspect something is hidden. The magnifying glass is used for examining and searching. Tap it once and then tap on something to examine. Tap it twice to search the area around you. Okay. Can't figure that part out. Okay. Alright, so we're going to save these potions until we're hurt. And this one is haste, by the way. Okay. Drinking this oddly sweet liquid will imbue you with tremendous energy for a short time, allowing you to run at high speeds. Okay, so that's if you, I guess if you want to run away from something, you could use that. Mm -hmm. We noticed a trap, apparently. Right, I think so it's a trap. That? Teleportation trap. Yeah, that's, that's, oh, uh, don't really have a way to go around it. Sure, let's go. Okay, we are here now. Hey, food. Got a key and food. <laughs> that was good. And check. With the potion of strength. No, a po golden potion. No, it's gonna be a potion of strength. By the way, do I still have that stone? No. That was a one shot. Yeah, no. Uh. Oh. The intuition stone. And another thing. I got a wand. Wand of lightning. Okay, that could be useful. I guess you don't have to identify wands. Uh, how does that work? I don't recall. Can I just zap it right now? Yeah, you should just do that. It must have a charge limit, though. Rob, if you stand too close or in water, you could get that. Yes, that's true. It deals 5 to 10 damage. The electricity can bounce between many nearby foes, spreading damage between them. The lightning and damage spread much more effectively in water. If you're too close, you may get shocked as well. Okay. Alright. Uh, if I remember, these guys aren't too bad, so I can probably go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Probably just... These, what are these badger people or something? These are gnolls. Gnolls. I'll just sit here. Okay. Okay. I am hungry. Alright. <clears throat> now, with hunger, I. I think how it works is basically <coughs> once you are hungry for a while, you start losing hit points. I guess. So, if I recall correctly, you can kind of maximize your food by um, waiting for a while before eating. Strength and upgrades. There won't be any time to train. Oh, we got some cookies. Thank you, honey. There won't be any time to train with weapons and armor you find in the dungeon, so you'll need brute strength to use them effectively. Potions of strength directly enhance your physical might and are the most effective way to meet the requirements of higher tier gear. Scrolls of upgrade are primarily for making equipment stronger, but also reduce weight. However, each upgrade will be less effective at reducing weight than the last. Okay. I didn't remember there being a weight factor in this game. I don't, I don't remember that. It's important to work towards heavier, higher tier items, but don't completely ignore what equipment you can use sooner as well. Alright, uh... I got four rations, I didn't realize that. Then again, I don't really remember anything about this game. <laughs> okay. Alright, I 
guess back up here. And then we have a null. I think that's a no. It's not. I thought that was a red potion. Or fire. Gent. Take that, you fool! All right, I gained uh, a new badge. Ten enemies slain. I don't, I don't know what badges do. Just like I achieve anything. Is there a hot key to wait? Let me see if I can find that. Uh, oh, interesting. Brightness. Key bindings. How do I wait? Or S is search. Z is arrest. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Maybe do, do, I have press Z to rest it. He was able to run two, make two moves and hit me, so I don't know. Maybe I did that wrong. Alright, uh, let's try a random potion since I'm a tiny bit hurt. Here you go, bottoms up. Silver potion. Glug, glug, glug. It was. Oh. I'm floating through levitation. the air. Okay. I cannot knock through the grass because I'm floating. My window still size trick that accidentally fiddled with it. Okay, it's a good Alright, let's try down here. Oop, we got an old. Let's, uh, let's zap him for fun. Yes. Here oh, you go, have it a shouldn't be I don't think you're that close, so. The wand of lightning is cursed. Oh. Uh okay. But that doesn't mean it's uh I'm not, not stuck wielding it. Anymore. Yep. No. No. Okay. Han, so Han, it said it was cursed and it said something. Send something? Hold on, go back to the description of this light okay. lightning one. The one is cursed making is magic chaotic and random. Okay. That could be good actually. <laughs> could be. Did not mean to move straight towards him. I oh. wanted him to come to me. Okay. Oh, I'm frozen because of the the wand I zapped, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what that wand did. It, it made a spot of frozenness. Okay. So you can't use search either because they make they can make two, two moves on you. So how do you wait? I don't know. Let's hit this one again. I guess. I guess it's not rest. It's something separate. No, it's wait. I didn't see wait in the key binding. Do it. Let me check mm. again. Key bindings. Oh, wait space. Okay. So or that's the numpad one five. Oh, I got piranha. They are actually very dangerous. You're starving. I know, starving. Okay, let's get out of here and eat something. Don't want to be in the middle of a fight and start taking damage from not yeah. eating. I don't think I could actually fight them anyway. I think that was what the levitation potion was for. Uh. Perhaps. I remember there's basically these guys are very hard. You need like a seek kind of a tricky way. Like invis I think invisibility is the way to go usually, actually. Okay. Well, maybe you have invisibility. I might. Now. Why don't I clear out the dungeon and come back? And maybe you still have yet to pick it up. Yeah. That might be the case. Surprise! I have a key. Look at this. Chest is locked and you don't have a matching key, huh? Oh well. Okay, so I need a key. There's some keys. Scroll of Ingve Malmsteen. So that's gonna be something random. Have you the ring? I wonder what that ring does. Sneaky snake. Alright. Level up, plus accuracy, plus evasion, plus five hit points. 
one talent point. Okay. So now we can use uh, another upgrade, I guess. Two iron key. Okay. Uh, well, I don't remember which menu to go. Do, 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 uh, this one. Alright, so what shall we upgrade now? <laughs> Maybe this one. The max shield provided by the warrior seal is increased by one. Okay, but that's, I guess that's just one more health, kind of. But not. Not health, it's, uh, it's protection. Different. It's kind of like health, though. Or is it like armor? So. It's like armor. Yeah. Okay. Charcoal potion. Alchemy book page. Okay, let's check that out. Okay. Um, can we combine potions or something? Uh, I don't, know. I don't remember. Hold on, am I looking in the right place? I think so, but maybe that's for tutorial stuff. Is probably not part of the tutorial. I don't know. Uh, now we choose. Oh, here we go. Creating potions. Welcome to the practical applications of alchemy. This book serves as a recipe reference for hobbyist alchemists and adventurers looking to get their hands dirty. We will start with the most iconic alchemy recipe. Place any three seeds into an alchemy pot to brew a random potion. Are you gonna have any of these? No, go ahead. Okay. Every seed has a potion counterpart, and the potion you create may relate to one of the seeds used. Using multiple of the same seed will increase the chance for this to occur. Okay, I do remember this. Basically, you have to find an alchemy pot, you put a bunch okay. of seeds into it. There's one in this room, I think. Uh, yeah. Do you have any seeds, uh, though? Combine ingredients to create something new. I don't think I do. No. Nope. Hopefully it's in the journal, so I can come back there later. Yep. So I can remember to come back there later. Okay, we found a potion of healing. We found a seed. Seed of sorrow moss. Sorrow moss. There are more, yeah, more grass over here, so we can grab one of those. Okay. I got unlocked the rogue somehow. So you got a new character? I guess. I don't know what I did to deserve that. Uh -huh. I'll take it. But, uh -huh. And I got 100 gold collected. Okay, what is gold? You, oh yeah, you, can, you can buy stuff later, I think. Uh, did I ever get a key for this? I don't think so. No. Hmm. Okay, let's go grassing. Go lawn mowing. Let's just look for some seeds. <coughs> Different enemy. It's a that different is... rat. It's an albino rat or something. Let me take a look at it actually. Yeah, why not? Albino rat is a rare breed of marsupial rat with pure white fur and jagged teeth. I got some mystery meat. Okay, I don't I don't know. You could eat that I guess. You can cook it actually, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Cool. Otherwise, it's, uh, I think, a risky thing to do. You could get sick, but it does help with your hunger a little bit. Something like that. Don't they all just heal you to full? Hmm? Doesn't everything just heal you to full? No, no. I don't. I don't think so. Okay. Alright, uh, let's see. <laughs> Well, I could try to take on the piranha and run away if, if it goes bad. I don't know if the uh, I could throw stones at them. Try your wand. I could Even do though that. it's not, if it was lightning, I would say. Yeah, why don't we try the wand a little bit? If it was lightning, I'd say use it, but it's not. But either way, you might as well try it. Try the one. Let me heal up a little first. I'm 
starving enough. Dude, that's not good. <clears throat> I do have this scroll. Hmm. Random potions. Right, I'm gonna try a random potion. Okay. Here we go. Plus one strength, nice. That's I think that's strength. Yes. <laughs> I was wrong. I said the gold potion would be strength. I was wrong. Okay, I'm gonna read the gold one. Uh, drink it. Level up. Ooh. Oh, that's that was a good one too. Another talent. I can never remember where to go. Um, over here, the top left. Okay. Uh, just get something new, I guess. Something. I'll get another one of the iron will, perhaps. Uh, Should I spread them out or do that? I don't know. I'll do the iron will. Okay. <laughs> Healing, haste, random thing here. Paralyzed, oh. okay, good thing I am not next to a monster. Well, that one almost came close to being able to attack me. Yeah, they are hard to hit when you don't see them. I mean, when, when they see you. Uh. Invisible, this is what you need for this. Oh yeah, that's good. Let's try it, try it. Sneak, 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 grab the grab a chain mail, yes. And get out of there. Nice. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so this game is it gives you the things you need to get over the challenges in a level. I feel like invisibility potions in a lot of these games shouldn't I feel like they shouldn't work ever shouldn't because work. you're holding stuff. Okay. But Okay, I have to uh Take a quick break. I will mute and be right back. Okay.
Okay, and we're back. All right. Sometimes nature calls. Um, all right, so we still have some invisibility, but it's probably not anything we can use that for. Um, we got our mail armor, which we'd, we should totally put on. Oh, it has a strength requirement of 14, unfortunately. I don't think we have We only have 11. Okay. I think you can wear it anyway, but um, you get, like, slowed down a lot or something like that. Mm. It does not have any curse on it. Uh, how do we tell the... It says it's free of the Right, but how did we figure that out? I don't know. I think it's just kind of... I don't know, it says that, so... Okay. So, why... Oh, we have a torch, by the way. We can light things with that. Okay. Huh, so I think that might be a new thing. Um... We probably could have thrown that at the... Thing, the barrier that was flammable. Okay, is there anything else to do here? Uh, Try that chest if you have a key for it. I don't think we ever got a key. But there might be something we can do. Uh, again, I'm trying to remember back to when I played the original. I think that everything is self-contained in a level, so it's like if there's a chest and you need a key, well, the key should be there. Unless the idea was that you can only unlock one of the two. Uh, maybe. It might be like that. I'm not sure. So it's either that or we can keep searching for a key, like just search around. Because the key is made out of Play-Doh and you can only use it once. Yeah. Damn Play-Doh keys. Um, we have one seed, that's not enough. What, what else can you do with the seeds? I don't know. Oh yeah, they each have a different ability. You can plant it or throw it. Throw a moss is a flower, not a moss. With a, with a razor sharp petals. Coated with a deadly venom. Alright. You could plant it apparently, but I don't know how long that would, that would take a long time to grow. I guess we should just go down to the next level. Okay. I'll verify they don't have the key. I'm like 90, 95% sure I don't. Okay. Yep. Yeah, let's go down. Oh, hello, Mr. Uh, Noel. Gnoll. Gnoll. A gnoll scale. There's a rat. Sneaky, sneaky. <coughs> Jeez, where are they all coming from? <laughs> I guess they generate like yeah. in most of these games. They just generate when they're not in view. Yep, so it doesn't look s silly that they're appearing in front of you. <laughs> they net hack if you get if you have a detect monster like, ring or no. Is that a ring of that? Uh potion of monster detection? Uh, if you have a, I don't know if you have sting, you can see just trolls appear sometimes. Uh, or, orcs. Orcs, whatever. <laughs> yeah. It might work with trolls too. I think it's just orcs. I don't remember which one it is. Here's another trap that we can see. It seems like this style of trap always, um, I can always see them for some reason. Mm, all right. Level up, woohoo! Alright, so we get to improve a talent again. Okay. What is more talents coming soon? Do you remember what it said? Do I have to get five or something and then I get to the next tier? Uh. That could be it. I think that just means Fuser Update, they're gonna add more. Wait, like a later version of the game, you mean? I think so. I don't think it means that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. And that's what coming soon usually means. Alright, um. Uh, I'm gonna go with Arms Master's Intuition. Yep, that sounds good to identify stuff when you put it on. Right, though for now I'm only at level one of that. So I identify them faster is, is the idea. Okay. I only have six of twenty. Yeah, I think they made that a higher requirement. It used to be you only got ten. I think it might have been like fifteen or ten, but I don't remember anything about the original game, so. Ghost. Said ghost. Hello, warrior. Once I was like you, strong and confident. But I was slain by a devious foe. I can't leave this place. Not until I have my revenge. Slay the, the Knoll trickster. That has taken my life. It is not like the other gnolls. It hides and uses thrown weapons. 
Beware, it's poisonous and incendiary darts. Don't attack from a distance. So I want to charge it. Okay. Gotta look for a special knoll, I guess. Should we read random scrolls, perhaps? Uh, yes. Because that is always a good idea. Read random and scrolls, there we go. Nothing bad can ever happen. Upgraded, I, uh, okay, cool. Um, what do I have? Sword, maybe? Unless you find uh, it. You might find a better one, though. Try to remember how this worked. Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, it's just basically adding pluses and it also repairs stuff. So my shorts were just worn, if I'm remembering correctly. I wonder if that would remove the worn. I don't know if that's just the type of weapon it is. Let's or... try it anyway. Unlock the mage. That's good. There you go. Too careful. So now it's a plus one worn short sword. Nah, okay. okay. That's not like durability. But, but we, yeah, but we know what this is now. The upgrade scroll. And I use the thing that clones me. Guess you have a bunch it's of like a mirror like image or something like that. That enemies will target, I guess. Yes. Is that the null trickster? <laughs> it kills them too. Oh, they attack. Yep. I think the, the crabs are annoying. Okay. Okay, I don't know. Here we go. Crab time. Are you dodge? Dodge. Okay, that was bad. I don't know which one is the null trickster. I'm assuming it's gonna look different. I assume so, but I don't know. Okay, what's fighting down there? Mm. Oh, another one. The seed, if you find that alchemy thing. Ear throat. Ear earth throat. <laughs> I thought it was <laughs> ear throat. Ear throat. Maybe it does. Oh no, it's too late. When a creature touches an earth root, its roots create a kind of immobile natural armor around it. Yeah, I recall using this on myself on the first boss pretty often. This is a goo creature that you can't really, at least in the regular pixel touch, you can't beat it without the help of something. Is it impossible? Not, not or necessarily it's just impossible, difficult. but difficult. Okay. The numbers are kind of stacked way against you, if I recall correctly, unless you use some kind of seed or other trick. Oh, I think you're starving. I am? Where do you see that? I mean, it's red. What is that? Is that hunger? Yes, that's hunger. Doesn't tell me what it is. Oh, sorry. Yep, okay. You're right. Let's eat up. Oh, that is a thing. Window one. Okay, we've got a potion of strength. Nice. Okay. Those should basically be drunk right away as, as far as I know. Yeah. That's the only way you get strength. I don't think there's any reason to save it, so yeah. Alright, so I have 12 now, I believe. Where do I see that? That's 12 strength. So I want to get 14 to put on my mail. So we need two more potions. Oh, I should have upgraded that. I think it yeah. lowers the requirements by one if you upgrade something oh. as well. I forgot about that. Okay, now we know. Is that a, no, I don't know. It's a trickster. <clears throat> that's an old Oh, trickster. that's a trickster. Yep, you're right. Uh, I should not be running though, I should be charging. Mm, let's actually let him come to me from around the corner. Mm, yeah. If he does. Oh, there he is. Let's do a charge. 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 Oh, he's, he's running away. Mm. You're, you're throwing. No. no, they say don't fight him oh. from range. Alright, you just go. What do we got there? A snake too? Um, okay. Forget the snake and just charge him. Yes, kill him first. Okay, he's almost dead. Back here, you jerk. Mm. How are we gonna catch him? <laughs> I could just zap him once. Oop, I didn't well, mean to click there. You don't know if your wand is gonna hurt him or. Well, I'm poisoned from this guy's weapon. Right. I think the wand will hurt him. I mean, it could just turn him into a. Oh, yeah, it's a magical, chaotic thingy. Alright, let's keep going, I guess. I don't like being poisoned, though. Hopefully, it wears off soon. It could turn him into a. something. I don't see myself catching him anytime soon. Um, yeah. Uh, why don't I let him get away about, and I'll deal with this snake? Or throw throw a rock at him. Is that like oh, one? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. All right, let's uh, go here. I suppose. I'm almost dead. Oh, uh, you're dead. I think. Oh, honey, do you everything you can do. I have healing potions. All right. Uh. Healing, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm almost dead again. Guess another one.
Oh, wait. At least it's a little better. Kill him. Oh, oh he died. Just throw your throw rock. Yeah. Cool, he's dead. Let's get rid of the snake. Oh, come on. Okay, we got the snake. Oof. It looks like a... Okay, the ghost said thank you, come find me. So we gotta find the ghost. There he is. He found you. He's like a hatchet or something. Oh, a tomahawk. You throw that? These throwing axes have a serrated edge, blah, blah, blah. So it's basically a tier four high level weapon. And I need 15 strength for that. I have, I've thrown a tomahawk in real life. Before. Yeah, how'd it go? Uh, it was fine. <laughs> I just it threw, it out, threw it out of target and Boy Scouts. Mm -hmm. Did you hit it? Yes. Cool. Thank you, that's Kimi no Lane, and I can finally rest. I wonder what twisted magic made it so smart. Please take one of these items. They're useless to me now. Maybe they will help you in your journey. Also, there's an item lost in this, this, this dungeon that is very dear to me if you ever find my rose. Okay. Alright, so we have a decent farmer that we can't get yeah, yet, so but soon enough. I say get weapon because... I say weapon too. Yep. What do we get? We got this hand axe plus one. Yeah, we're totally using that. Yeah, that's, that's not... I don't know, it doesn't say it's not cursed, but I assume it's not cursed because it's plus one. It's... I think so. I think you're right. I don't um, know why they, they wouldn't give you a curse, a bad thing for... What's already put? So this is 3 to 15 damage, and this one is 2 to 12. Okay. But because of my excess strength, I can deal up to 3 bonus damage. Mm -hmm. uh, and this one I can deal up to 1 bonus damage. So I'm not really sure how that bonus damage works, so I'll just use the hand next. Alright, cool. We are now better armed. So is this rose going to be on this level? I don't think... Oh, there's a key. And a scroll. I guess we passed by those when we were chasing the knoll. What? <coughs> are you okay? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. The top of the headphones is starting to like... The top of the headphones? It's separating? Okay. Yeah, it's been... Alright, here is the... We could probably repair that. Yeah, probably. The electronics are fine, right? Yeah, it works. It's fine. I could hear. I mean, I can't hear this because. Gotcha. We don't have a set, but I can hear everything normally, usually. Gotta find a solution for that sound. Gold upgrade. Gold upgrade, nice. Do you want to okay. use that on your mail? Uh, maybe. What's my strength? Thirteen or twelve? Uh, twelve. I'm gonna hold it for a bit. Okay. If I get to the point where I can use the mail, if I apply the upgrade, then I will do it. Well, you find a, find an alchemy thing, then you can. I could go back up and use that. I mean, you could, but I don't know. Just one bullet. Oh, flies! <laughs> no, what are those things? So flies are um. Let me think about this for a minute. Yeah. So they're now uh, going back to original pixel dungeon. They are like a key way to gather health potions, healing potions. Okay. Because every time you hit one, they split into two, and each of these has a chance of giving you a health point. Let's say it's about 20%, roughly. So the idea is you want to, <laughs> if you want to abuse this feature, you, um, which, which I found is very necessary actually, or a good idea at least, um, you would want to kill as many of them as possible, and the way you do that is by actually using the worst weapon, maybe you can actually go barehanded. So each time you hit with like a punch, you do say one damage, and then they split. So you have to, you maximize the number of flies that mm. split up that way. And that and is And then how you, you would like, lead them down a... Yeah, you don't want to be surrounded by them, yeah. you would you would lead them down a corridor where they, where they can't attack you, you too want to much get that, probably want to get that chest first, because... Uh... No, they'll get a bunch of hits on me if I do that. Okay, well you're probably not going to be able to get it if you don't. What do you mean? I mean, they're gonna split and there's gonna be a ton of them. That's fine, we kill them all, that's the idea. But, but then won't they split? What? Oh, when you hit them, they split, but if you kill them, they don't. Right. Okay. So that's why you, the strategy is to use a bad weapon. I thought they would just be like, input. <laughs> I should try to remember if you can go barehanded or not. Yeah, I guess you can just do it. Yeah, on a clip. Alright, now we're punching some flies. Get ready, folks. And now it's possible in this expansion, which tries to improve the base game, they might have removed that uh, farming mm -hmm. system. Maybe. 
or they might have decided it's kind of integral to the game, so they just left it in, perhaps. Okay. See, look, they, they take a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. oh no, when they split, I think what works is when they split, they lose half their life. Okay, so, so it's not like that. it's not like they're growing; they're they're dividing. Okay. You need a space for them to multiply, by the way. Okay. If there's no room for them to multiply, they don't. So then the ones that do multiply um, have lower health? Yeah. So they can't multiply infinitely. Uh, right. Okay. The idea is just not to hit them so hard that you... you kill them. You kill them, yeah. You want to maximize the number of <coughs> splits that they do. I am hungry, though, which is a little bit annoying. Um, um we're not starving yet, so... So does it have one hit point or two? Let's see. I can't really tell. Uh, so I'm not sure if I should hit him now. Okay, so that killed him. <coughs> Alright, so I got no potion yet. Unfortunately, I might have killed them all. There's probably a few left back here. There's probably like one left. I think there's probably like two or three, but I'm not really know. sure. You might be right. There's one, and it has a lot of health, so that's good. There's another one, okay. okay so you need to give them space, because yeah. if you don't have a, an empty space, then your, your harm against them does not let them split, does not allow them to split. Which makes total sense. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I don't know if they, they might have gotten rid of the health potion. Drop. They might have, but I just got 50 enemy slain badge. Mm. Flies are probably counted for like half of them, but. <laughs> Hello, flies. Where are you? Hello, McFly. Anybody home? Hmm. Alright, yeah. Uh, might have killed them all. Probably. I think so. What was that? Did I see something? Yeah, there's oh, a fly. Okay. I don't know, I feel like it's just gonna die from one Okay, it might, yes. Does that mean it can't drop a potion, though? Yeah, they're sneaky. Alright. Oh, wow. It's a oh. full health. That must be a new one. A fresh one. I guess. Can I have to worry about the snake, though? I'm gonna actually come down and around, perhaps. Hey, don't run away. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, come to me. I hadn't, hadn't noticed you. Got a rat to deal with too. Uh, how many hit points? Thirty-eight. Okay. All right, uh, Going here. Rats. I want to fight one guy at a time. Right, you're gonna be punching the rat. Which I know. Kind of I can. Good. I can. I can wield my weapon if I. I guess. If I'm right. able to. So you are getting hungry. I know. I'm starving. <clears throat> Keep going. Punch him. Very possible they remove the healing potions that you get. Yeah, it seems Ooh, like it. Or okay. unless, or maybe they reduce the chance. Yeah. Maybe it's like a ten percent chance. Or... Wait, am I blocking? I, I thought I could so. figure. Oh shoot, that was tough. Clicked. Yeah. Ah, all right. You're kind of surrounded. Not that that fly is. It's so hard to hit him. Cool, we killed the. I had like no health. He had like no health. Yeah, they don't have much health, but they're hard to hit if you don't surprise yeah. them, basically. I think, I think when you uh level up, you can like sometimes it'll increase your accuracy. It does, yes. I am going to go to the bathroom. Okay, enjoy. All right, now that we have a break, let's eat some food. <clears throat> That's a fly. 
the little black fly. I found a pile of gold. What does it do? Does it take you to the lower level? I don't remember. Cather, you can't see the bottom. I think it does do that. something quick, don't mind me. Says it's something you can't see. Regarding my current current viewers number. Alright, let's skip that. Mm, okay, now we have lag. Right? Where are these flies? Did I kill them all? Okay, we lost connection. Hooray. are back, I think. Oh, yeah, we're back. Cool beans. Alright, um... Alright, I guess I shouldn't waste time too much here. I'm gonna actually do a quick googling if they remove the fly thing. So, shattered pixel dungeon farming. <clears throat> the swarm of flies is a standard enemy that can be found in sewers and prison. Am I looking at the shattered wiki? I don't think so. Shattered. How does potion farming in shattered work? Drop rate for health potions from oh, this is from bats. What about bats? Did, did they take them away from flies? Uh, okay. Well, apparently it um. Okay. So there's a new way that potion health potion drops works, and basically it is less probable the more potions that have been dropped. So it's still a thing, it's just I have not found any yet by, um, I guess, bad luck, you could say. Hey, Rob Bob. So I looked it up, and the potion farming still works, but... I am back. Hello. The potion farming still works in this version, but... is weakened in that the more that... Oh, wait, that's bad. The more potions that are dropped, the lower the probability of them being dropped again. Mm -hmm. And it gradually decreases each time. However, we haven't found a single one dropped by these flies yet, so that's the weird thing. Alright, so you look through the movie, I guess. Yep. So, so it's still 20% chance that you just haven't found it? Uh, it's not necessarily a flat 20. Yeah. Well, I mean... But it's something point. like... <clears throat> So this example here is specifically for bats, I mean, these are not bats, but it's like one over six plus number of potions that have been dropped chance. And someone asked, is it the same for flies? And the response is not exactly the same, but the same idea. So, it's so, like bat, so bats and flies can drop it? Yes. So it's like, I feel like I should have got it by now. If, if it was that one in six for the first time. Yeah, you should have gotten it by now. There's a fresh new fly, by the way. I'm getting pretty beat up, by the way. I don't know. Maybe you should just... Mm, I guess I could move on. Yeah. Uh, geez, let's, let's just wield a weapon and chop them up. Chop them all up. Chop them into... Chop them into... Potions. I'm getting pretty beat up. Okay, yeah, this is not good. See, this is why you need the health potion. Mm -hmm. If only I had a way of getting health potion. I do have the two drops I can use in a in a pinch. Um, wait, yeah. do I have the strength? I still have strength 12, right? I think so. Yep, okay. And this one is upgraded. Alright. Okay. I am at 5. Great. Not looking good. Uh, um, should I use it now? 
it. I'll try to hold that a little longer. Let's see what happens. Alright, I'll, I'll drink it now. Nah, yeah, you got it. Yeah, drink all it's of it? It's about 23. Yeah, you don't have a choice of how many to drink. Okay. I got 500 gold. Woohoo! Cool. Alright, um... I killed all those guys. Let's, uh, just focus on the objective now, I suppose. There's some gold here I should get. Right, we yeah. are a little bit hungry. How's our food supply? It's pretty low. Yeah, uh, yeah, we got one ration. Shall we try a random ring? Yeah. Uh, well, I'd say why not, but... <laughs> why? <laughs> There's a reason that why The rings not. might make you hungry in this game, I don't recall. I have to look that up. Okay, we opened this locked door and we found three... Ooh. Stones, one of deepened sleep, disarming, and shock. I have to remember to use those actually. Are they one time use? Um, I know the w other one was. The other one I was, yes. I would think they all are probably, but I'm not sure. Let's take a look at how they. Uh, another fresh fly. Stone of deepened sleep. When this stone is thrown near a sleeping enemy, it will magically deepen their sleep. Magically slept enemies will sleep forever until disturbed. Okay. Stone of affection, we know that one. Yeah. Temporarily charmed and attempt to target your allies instead of you. Stone of disarming. This rune stone holds magic that can disable malicious traps hidden throughout the dungeon. It will disarm up to nine traps around the area it is thrown at. Okay, so I'm... Mm. Mm. Okay, so if it says... So that one says how many uses it has. Yeah. But the one that had one-time use... It kind of would, it would have been very overpowered if it didn't oh, have, a, have a limit. Why do you, this, this is, I think this is one use too. It says nine, nine traps. So you throw it somewhere, and if there's, it'll, it'll disarm uh, all the traps okay, yeah. in, no, no, no. in that thought, spot and every square around it probably. I thought it just meant, like, it could disarm nine traps. Yeah. It's showing the of shock unleashes a blast of electrical energy which briefly stuns all nearby targets and grants the thrower a wand charge for each target hit. Okay, so you can actually charge up your wands from that. Okay. You, just zap the, you suck the energy out of them. There's a lot of, yeah, a little flies in this. Yep. Here. Wait, you dealt 13 damage and didn't let it die? No, they have a lot of health. Right. The swarm. Yeah, so I killed. How many did I kill? I was killed at least 30, right? Yeah. So not it's single, gotta be low. Not a single potion of healing. It could be that random comment that I read was wrong. It was, by, it was not like yeah. the wiki, it was a random post on Reddit. Alright, so they made that either very improbable. Or they took out the health potions entirely. I would. I guess we'll go ahead maybe the, the game was updated since the guy said that. Maybe he's yeah. just wrong. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, down we go. We have talent points. Unspent talent points. Oh, thanks for the reminder. Thank, thank you, game. Uh, should I do this one? Go automatically identify. Huh? I'm equip stuff. That sounds good. Okay. That in my stats, by the way. That was a uh, health is 33 plus one out of 45. Okay. All right. Got another fly to deal with. Too many flies. I guess they're coming. Uh, yeah. In the right areas. In this area, good this mm -hmm. time. No potions yet. Hey, they just dropped one. Oh, uh, After all that, finally. Should no I, potions should I, should yet. Should I go to punch it though again? Let's do it. I mm, mean, might as well. I don't know if it's the best strategy if, if they made this rare, but um, I'm starving again. Great. Alright. Kill them, and then eat. Potion of healing. Oh, there's another one there too. Okay, so I missed that. Alright. Healthy food, yum yummy. Should, should not stay unequipped though. We should walk Yeah, that could one. be very risky if you forget, then get into a fight. Torn guidebook page. Arcane stylus. I missed uh, dealing with hunger from last time, I think. Yeah, I uh, just eat stuff. Yeah, you eat stuff. Hunger ultimately affects your health. You will slowly heal when satiated. 
and slowly lose health when starving. Losing health may sound bad, but as long as you don't die, losing health has no direct penalty. It's best to think of health and hunger as resources that need to be managed, not kept full at all times. Yeah, so I should probably let myself drain and yeah. health a little bit instead of just eating right away. For example, if you have full health, the, re the health regen you get from being full will be wasted. If you pace out when you eat based on how, how your health is doing, your food should last much longer. Gaining experience. As you defeat enemies, your level of experience will increase. Your experience determines how accurate your attacks are, how easily you can dodge, and how much health you have. Your experience level makes a difference in combat. It's best to have at least one level for each floor of the dungeon. It can be tempting to rush through a dungeon avoiding exploration and combat, but doing so will deprive you of both supplies and experience. You can see information about your hero including experience on the status pane at the top of the game interface. Tap on your hero portrait to get even more info. Okay. You want to go to every jump possible before the fleet catches up to you. Yeah. <laughs> to use an FTL, FTL reference. Uh, okay. So I'm starting to get full in my inventory. What was this again? Arcane, Arcane Stylus is made of some dark, very hard stone. Using it, you can inscribe a magical glyph on your armor, but you have no power over choosing what glyph it will be. The stylus will decide it for you. So I guess it could be good, could be maybe bad, I don't know. Maybe. You can't choose. I don't know how that worked. Yeah, I think some of them are not good. Okay, we got, oh, are we in the boss? Is this oh. a goo? What level are we on? Expect it. Four? I remember the goo being black, but okay, this is just a no. regular slime, I guess. It's a new thing. Okay. Because of their elastic outer membrane, it's difficult to deal more than six damage to slimes from any one attack. Alright. So, probably gonna be okay. Six damage is probably the maximum, but maybe you could do more. Right. Alright, let's give it a go. Not too bad. Okay. So you did do so. It's just you. So only a little bit more than seven usually, mm. or six. But it's all seven. Got seven. another slime and a crab. Crabby patty. I want to find them both. That's the thing. I could throw a rocket one. Yes. Okay, we got the slime detention. So let's just move here. Which is slimes are the weakest guys in these types of games. Okay, that was not bad. Found a trap. A trap or something. Okay. What is that? I'm curious as what that is. A trap? Oh. oh. Okay, yeah. Uh, it is a confusion gas trap. Oh, so if you press inspect while not clicking on any tile, then it searches. Right, when well, you double tap search, yeah. Okay. Double, double tap. It's all the way to find it's cool. That could, you want, you want to try ring. that on the ring? Yeah. yeah. It is a ring of furor. Okay, what's that do? This ring grants the wearer an inner fury, allowing them to attack more rapidly. A cursed ring will instead slow the wearer's speed of attack. When worn, this ring will increase the speed of your attacks by 10.5%. So that, no reason to not wear that, I guess, because it doesn't mention anything about hunger. I think you do get uh, uh, Let me look into that. I'll look it up. Is there a wiki for this game? Probably. Shattered Pixel Dungeon Rings. Here we go, I found wiki. that. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, nothing about hunger. Alright, so I guess... So you should be good. How do you do that, by the way? Do what? Uh, you look for one word. Or oh, you just, um, on uh, Windows, you hit Control F on Max, Command F. Okay, I was wondering, because I saw you do it, and I've done it on accident before, but I don't remember how to okay. do it. Okay. Let's ask you about searching in a web browser. Back to the chat. Nobody's there in the chat. Nobody's. Hi. It says one person's watching. <laughs> one person's watching. That's not always accurate. It could be no one. It could be 50 million. All right, let's see. We have a slime and a null. Okay. Right, they're both attacking you, but it should be fine. We got an 
unstable dirt. What makes it unstable? I don't know what that means. Yeah, that's some kind of enchantment. Um, where is the unstable dirt? Uh, oh, do you have a separate? I hate now. That's it. Unstable dirt. A long thrusting dagger gives a bit more steel to plunge into foes. Typically, a tier two melee weapon deals two to twelve damage and requires twelve strength to use properly. This weapon is stronger against unaware enemies. Okay. Unstable man. So it does two to twelve normally. So for each hit, it has a random enchantment. That could actually be good, but mm. is I think this has more reliable three to fifteen. Yeah. And the one bonus damage potentially. Plus, you don't have enough strength for that. Wait, why don't you have enough strength for that? I should. There's 12. It's just, do I have a question mark then? Um, I think because I f haven't tried it, it could be maybe curse or something and okay. not actually require 12. It might require more. Or also, it could be an upgrade. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think Anything it's... That has a, I don't know what plus it has. So, I think it might mean... Plus or minus. Because it's a question mark, so it might... It's like you don't know. It's probably right. that, but you don't. If know. it's the basic level of that weapon, it'll have a twelve. It could be. If it turns out to have plus one, like this one, it'll have actually okay. eleven. Well, so you have like, like twenty. How many slots? You have like twenty extra slots for potions yeah. alone. I guess. Is, yeah. Nineteen. Yeah, well. Which is a lot. Yep. All right. Uh, where to now? Let's see. So what do I want to do next is more, more like what I'm thinking about. Uh, probably have to fight the, 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 the blob soon. The glob, whatever it's called. Do we go to Nethak after that? Maybe. Maybe. You can go to bed. Yeah. I might just call it because we're having low injuries tonight. Yeah. Unless somebody wants to see some Nethak in about 10 minutes. Then please let me know. Shall I try farming again? I guess I could. I am getting hungry, but I think we'll be alright. Let's, let's do some fly farming again. <coughs> I don't fly. Cool. Hopefully oh. this doesn't take me... Oh, uh, boy. Alright, let's, okay. um, let's try on the weapon. What? So what, you can't... Oh. Why is that on the ground? Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. Just drop... What do you not need, like... I'm gonna use the dirt. Sure. Was that cursed? No. Okay, it's not. So All right. There was no room in your inventory for it to go to. Yes. Okay. So that's why it made me drop it. Throw this short story out here. Yeah, you don't need that. Yeah, no. no, don't attack him. I want to get to a better spot. That's not good. Good. Uh, it's not, I'm gonna keep clicking wrong. It's hard to click in the right space. All right, let's just um, wield the weapon, I guess, because it's too dangerous. Yeah. But I can use one of those healing potions if necessary. Which it might be necessary. Which it might be. Oh, wait, you got, I think you got a potion. Okay, I'm gonna drink one. Yes. Uh, I'll take one more hit. Did you, no, you didn't drop. You didn't drop one. I think you did. Oh, okay. that's bad. Let's drink it. Yes. I only have two. I feel like I should got a few more, but I guess not. I've been drinking a lot of them. Okay. Just kill it. <clears throat> no. The healing potion doesn't heal at all at once. As you can see, I have the, the red cross. Oh, it's, like, on it's not like a regeneration, not really kind healing. Of. So now that I have 40 out of 50, I'm going to try farming a little more. Okay. <clears throat> Nothing there. More flies. Can make this bigger so I don't misclick as often. Full screen? 
Uh, I don't want to do full screen. Uh, but can I just make it bigger? Display scale. Display scale? Uh, oh. oh. That's what's better. Okay. But I need to, maybe I can make the window bigger on top of that. Yeah, here we go. I'll probably have to adjust in OBS if it's cut off. Yeah, it was a little light there. Yeah, it's cut off. That looks fine. And now I can click a little better because it's a bigger window. <clears throat> okay, now we put on a real weapon. Yes, we need a weapon. Use your hand axe. Come here, you little fly. I don't know how you punch a swarm of flies, but <laughs> who then <laughs> so you kill a fly who then drops a healing potion that's probably bigger than the fly itself. <laughs> it's a swarm of flies rather <laughs> carrying it collectively. I guess. Uh, there was one left. You said right? What? what was that? Did you say there was a potion left somewhere? Was there? Early. Okay, maybe not. I said. I think I said something about. Like if you went to the alchemy place, it's just kind of like getting a free potion. Okay, that's longer ago than I was talking about. I don't know. Okay. Isn't that upgrade? Mm -hmm. That's yes. upgrade. That means you can use your better axe or weapon. Um. Or no, you better um. My better armor. armor. Yeah, yeah, I could save it for strength though. I did a piling two upgrade on a, a kind of mid level armor. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off still. Okay. So I feel like I'm managing okay. Okay enough. I mean I did kinda go through a lot of healing, but uh, I don't know. I, I feel better this way. <laughs> No yeah, matching key, yeah. I am starving, but that's okay. You can wait. Hmm? I said you can wait, there's not really any reason to eat right now. Correct. I mean, there is, but not much reason to eat right now. Did it go down pretty slowly? Yes. What is that? Bolus, okay. It's a bolus, it's like a whip. Uh, no, it's a throwing weapon that's like, um, like kind of rocks with a rope attached to you, kind of swing it. Like a sling? Swing it around and you throw it and you can tangle people with it. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Alright, I got a bunch I of these things. What, you, what do you not need? Do you need. What do I not need? You should need? Equip, equip the ring, right? Uh. That'll okay. give you. It's not cursed, it'll give you inventory spot. Yeah, that's true. We decided there was no reason not to do that. <laughs> I wonder what that horn looking thing is. I could throw more of these. Stuff. Does it have a bolus? Can I throw it yet? Or is it? Right there. Okay, it requires 13. These unusual ranged weapons aren't very damaging, but they do an excellent job of slowing their targets. This tier 3 thrown weapon deals 6 to 9 damage and requires 13 strength to use properly. Because of your inadequate strength, yeah, yeah. Alright, so that's the idea. It has five out of five uses left before one mm -hmm. breaks. So we found a key. Now we can go here. You got two bullets, actually. Oh. oh, there's a slime. If, if that key works for that lock, which it probably will, but... I would, I would think so. <laughs> I think you just have to match the color. Plato keys. Plato keys. Oh yeah, this guy. You can challenge this guy. You don't have to fight him. But if you beat him, you get something cool, like a really good weapon, I think, or fairly. He has a blazing short sword. So it has an enchantment as a short sword. So 
kind of back to the beginning level weapon. Not not super strong, but... Should, uh, I mean, if you're going to fight a guy, he's probably kind of strong. Right. You should eat something, I feel like. I'll eat something. Let's try to remember how tough these guys usually are. Um... Oh, I'll just go for it. I'm gonna ramp yeah, up soon. Yeah. Eat and then punch. Eat and punch. You just attack him. You don't even like, hey, you wanna fight? Yeah. Okay, so this is not. Oh. Alright, it doesn't seem that strong. Okay. I, caught, I caught fire, so it's not good. The leprechaun told him to burn things. The leprechaun told him to burn things. Okay. Alright, beat him. I got the blazing short sword. Now, do I want to use it though? Um, 2 to 15 damage plus, it's blazing. So it's a 3 to 15 with a possible bonus, but yeah, maybe I'll just use the it, yeah. blazing one. It actually has a theoretical higher chance. I feel like there is a chance that the fire actually. Burning to you. Yeah, so it, uh, we'll just try it. There's so much water, like. There's a lot of water in the sewers, yes. The enemies are just put out really easily. True. Slime. We got two slimes coming, okay. Alright, uh, kill that guy. He's burning. Okay, plus two accuracy, evasion, plus five hit points, he defeated slime. I did not get a talent upgrade. Alright, it's 1031. Okay. Yeah, yes. Now. yes, I should go to bread. Go to bread. I think I'm gonna save it too. Just cut it here. Nobody's watching. Yeah, yeah <laughs> no, no one's watching. <laughs> All okay. Right. Good night if anyone is watching. If anyone's watching, thanks for watching. And if yeah. you're not watching, then thanks a lot. Thanks for nothing. Thanks for nothing. So this is a look at uh, Pixel Dungeon. It's a good game. You can get it for yeah. your iOS phone or Android. Five dollars. Or you can buy it on Steam for Mac or PC. Or you can just um, download the Java Jar, which means you run it on Java. So you need Java installed, but that runs on tons of machines. That runs on pretty much everything. Pretty much. And this is Shattered, which is an extension of Pixel Dungeon. And that's all folks. Let's see if I can save. How do you save? Uh, exit game? Maybe? I should just automatically save? Nope, I didn't just lose my game. Yeah. Okay, I still have the game. Cool. Alright. Alright. Thanks for watching, folks. Good night, if anyone's watching. And see you next week. This is Mark W. Good night. And Rob Bob. Bye, Good Rob night. Bob. Bye.